Hi, I'm Dustin Johnson. Hey, I'm Matthew Wolf. This is Rory McIlroy. I'm Colin Morikawa. Hi, I'm Ricky Fowler. Hi, I'm Harry Higgs. I'm Tommy Fleetwood. And this, this is, is Rough Situations. Situations. Wolfie DJ, this is Rough Situations, albeit that we're on the tee here. But I want you to imagine you're either tied for the lead or you've got a one-shot lead and you've got this tee shot in front of you. What's the thought process? You want to make birdie, hence why I've put drivers in your hand. Okay. My <laughs> thought process? Yeah. Hit it in the fairway. <laughs> if I want to make birdie, I better hit the fairway. Looks like I got a little wind in, maybe slightly out of the left. Um, I'm going to play a little low cut just to get it out there in the fairway. Are you are you going to ask your caddy about any yardages yeah, of any absolutely. of the markets? Tell me what you want to know. I want to know how far it is to the trees on the left. 256. And then the ones on the right? 289. Okay, so I got a little more room to the right. Yeah. Um, obviously, with a driver, I'm going to go into both. Yeah. So might know what hit driver but in this situation <laughs> i gotta make birdie so i gotta it's squeeze it up there man. right it's yeah. a rough situation i gotta squeeze it up there because i can get it right in front of the green okay um yeah i'm gonna hit a cut off the left trees okay how t how small are you making that start area i mean you're saying left small, trees. oh because i mean well more i'm i'm looking at the finish line which is the flag so i'm gonna i mean obviously i'm gonna be looking at the flag, but I'm also going to look at where I wanted to start, which is probably on the, there's a, the tall tree. It's got a flat part. Yeah. Like the left side of that flat part. I like it. I like it. So show me what you got. Yeah. Well, I've seen you teened it down a little bit. Teed it down just a hair because I'm into the wind. Okay. Slide it a hair lower. Yeah. yeah. Get a little more distance out of it. Oh, I pulled that one a little. I think that's still fairway though. It's close. <laughs> it's on the left edge. Yeah. Okay. Thought process for you, Wolfie? Yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, like DJ said, with our length, you know, from this tee box, I don't know if it would be uh, the best idea to hit driver here just with the distances, but obviously, like you said, it's to make birdie. So. You know, I, I'm, I, I probably wanna, would want to cut it as well just because I think that if you do play a cut and it so happens to leak a little bit, it's going to spin a little more. And especially being into the wind, it, it might not get to those right trees. So, I mean, that's one thing to take into account. But, yeah, I mean, if we need to make birdie, I'll probably just try to squeeze a cut out there, um, start it. I'd probably say, yeah, I mean, if the, if the flag is your ending zone, yeah. I'd probably say start it like at that tree that Dustin was talking about with the flat top. I like to start it just at the trunk of it. You're getting speed now in places where you as tour players need it, should you miss, which I know is very rare, but you do have that. But it, but it's, I mean, exactly what he's saying though. It's like, it gives you the ability to put weight in certain spots. So like if, you're te if your tendency is like, I'm a cutter of the ball, like you, you maybe want a little more weight in the heel because like, I want to keep the face shut. So if it starts, so it could start left to cut and like, just things like that, you have so much more workability and like, it's more, you know, I know they fit clubs for you, but it's like this one could be real. I mean, it's even like taking it a step farther is like, it's specifically for you. And like, and I mean, it also looks really good too. You know, like you said, it's lighter. And I mean, being able to too. see that piece back there. Yeah. Forged aluminum. It's, that's the thing. The tech is so visual. Yes. Show me the shot yeah. then, Wolfie. All right, so yeah, starting it like at that tree. And I noticed you got your picks. You don't do, how does picks work on this? Any any alignment? No, I, I usually just- went blank. I usually just put the TaylorMade on, um, you know, during putting, I'll, yeah. you know, I'll, okay. I'll use it, but- Let's see the shot. Yeah. We got both sides covered. <laughs> <laughs> One more. Let's have a pipe down the fairway before we head out. I want my driver to look like that. No. 
I want that shot. I want that shot. Well, yeah, that was definitely. A miss. I can make it not do that. Problem is, I can't make it go there if it doesn't. Ah, same thing. Seems like there's a lot of wind off the left. I thought so too until my ball went dead <laughs> straight. <laughs> There you go. Yeah. Cut. Okay. It's a late cut. I think that was, yeah, that was better. Might be safe. Let's go down there, find another situation. Perfect. All right. Rough situation in terms of you've got to make a decision. Talk me through the decision process and then hit one for me. Well, obviously there's a tree here in front of us. There's one a little further away. Gonna have to hook it. Um, for me, I mean, it's just going to be a little bit with setup. Got 145 into the wind, take a little nine iron, but I'm going to get my stance closed and swing a little bit more from the inside than I normally do because I usually fade it. So, but hitting a hook, not a problem. Heat of the situation, though, hitting a hook, I'm cool with it, but straight up, obviously a hazard. Right, but I'm out of the fairway, so I know it's going to hook. You're all good. Like, that's yeah. not even coming into Rough. Mind. If I was in the rough, though, Different probably wouldn't do it because yeah. you can't. Yeah. Okay. okay. But out of the fairway, we we know we can make it turn yeah. enough. Right to... now, I'd say the only time you'd hit that ball and try to get it close out of the rough is if it was like sitting on top of the rough and you think you could get something that would launch Go higher. Tree. Okay. But if you're but in the fairway, it's... I know it's going to curve, yeah. and so the water, I'm, I'm not even looking at the water. I'm looking at the flag. Okay. Yeah. So this um, is this is effectively green light. You're also thinking yeah, this is still light. birdie. Absolutely. Yeah, okay. I mean you've only you got 145. It's yeah, and yeah, the water. If you wouldn't have said anything, I would have never even seen it. Yeah, honestly, you'd have fired too. me right now as the caddy. Like, what are we talking about this? Yeah, I know. Why are you tell me there's water <laughs> over there? Yeah, seriously. Right, well, let's have some competition here, boys. Right. You can get closest to pin out of you two. So I think most important thing too is knowing your start line here because you have this tree here that you're not going to get over this first one. Yeah. So you got to make sure you go around it. How do you set the amount of hood to turn that thing? So you're turning this thing 25 yards. Yeah. But it's not even, um, it's not even so much about the face, like hooding the face. Well, it's face more... angle is more of where you want it to start. So yeah. I adjust my body off of the face angle. So your body is going to set the turn. Yes. Okay. I turned it too much, so. Got over the second tree, though. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that was definitely... To, you're going to be chipping. I thought the wind would hold it a little more. Yeah, it was stronger on the T-shirt. Well, until you told me the water was over there, so I really right, made a turn. keep blaming me. I'll have to talk my way out of this one. <laughs> no, Give me the club, I, I'll just wipe I, it I, off. I, I'm with Dustin, though. Like, honestly, like, I wouldn't have even noticed that water's there if it, if, because, like he was saying, I mean, the most important thing, you're not going to be able to get over this first tree right here, and, it's, and you want to be able to start it right enough so it doesn't hit it. So that's where your face is going to stay out to the right, and then you just adjust your body line. So you get more clothes on your body lines and then you come more in to out and that's where the actual turn comes from. Okay. But yeah, I mean, I mean, it's, it's a pretty straightforward shot. If you really just, you really Feel don't even have into to, out. yeah, you don't even really have to turn it that much to be honest. This is good. Yeah, that was a little better than mine. This is good. Yeah. There you go, Wolfie's one up. Let's go to the next that was a shot. Nice shot. Yeah, we took his drive though. <laughs> <laughs> okay, boys, we've moved literally five or six paces to the left here. Wolfie's one up. Front pin, so same yardage, 140. Mm -hmm. Talk us through this one. What scenario have you got? What are you thinking? Yeah, I think it was 145. So. I'll check that. Yeah. I mean, I'm already getting fired well, by I was one of you. Bring, you, by... you bring up the water and then you give me a wrong number. <laughs> I mean, like. 142. Okay, okay. So you were right. So I'm still in a job with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Luckily. <laughs> um, all right. So for this one, though, you know, obviously we could work the other one. But this one, you know, we have to start low and then kind of let it rise because, you know, even though it's not a problem, we do have a tree about 100 yards in front of us that we do have to make sure to get it over. So obviously with this wind, 
um, you know, it's going to be a little into and you want to make it starter lower. So you're going to take a little more club. I mean, I'm taking an eight iron. I took a nine iron with that one. I'm taking an eight iron right now and just make sure to kind of start it low. And for this one, I'm going to try to cut it a little bit too. So, you know, just get, get that extra spin to make sure that it gets up past the trees that you need it to. Is that how you get the riser by opening it up and giving it a bit extra to get the spin? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. I mean, maybe put it a little back in your stance, open the face a little, but when you're hitting down on it, you know, when you're hitting you down that. into the ground, the ball is going to, the back Squeeze spin out. is going to make it go up. So like you it. want it to hit into the ground, start low, but then have enough spin where it climbs after. Like it. Show so, me what you got. Yeah, we're going to see how this goes. Nick the tree, but I think it's pretty good line. I, I didn't see it, but a I'm, little short. I think it's short too. Is it? Yep. I think so. Yeah, short. That's tough. I thought I hit that really good. <laughs> Doors open, DJ. <laughs> Doors open. Oh, it's barely short. Any? <laughs> oh my God, that's like a. It nicked the tree, or would have got oh, there? Did it? Yeah, yeah it nicked yeah. the limb oh, right here. Gosh. So you've got nine iron. I've got a nine. I'm gonna play it very similar to the way Wolf described it, except for the cut. Cause I'm gonna play it back, try to hit it pretty straight. Okay. But I'm gonna play a nine iron off the back foot, hit it low, and it's gonna climb above the next tree. That's why I'm gonna hit the nine. Okay. Just cause I get my hands a little more forward. So nine iron's plenty low enough. Yeah. And Cause you're yeah. changing that loft dynamic. Yeah, and two, I'm trying to hit it 145, so. Okay. Get a little closer to it also. This is nice. This is really nice. Money. Yeah, good shot. Nice. Good one, shot. one. Okay. One, one, boys. All yeah. square. Yeah, that one will work. Let's see what else we can find you. All right. Why don't you find us something hard? <laughs> <laughs> I'm working on it. Right, fellas. One, one. I'm, I mean, I'm trying to pick a real rough situation because Dustin was giving me grief on that one, saying it was too easy. So you're 55 <laughs> yards, back pin pretty tight up there. What information would you want to know first, other than it's 55 yards? Do you want to know any other yardages? Um, and how's I, your head as well? I'd want to know what information got me in this situation. Yeah, yeah. Because I was going to say. I would be really angry that I was here. Yeah. yeah. If it so happened that we were, we it did end up in this situation, I'd probably say the only thing that I want to know is I'd probably walk up there. I'd see how much room you had past the hole until it dropped off. And then I'd want to know the just pretty much the area that I have to work with. Okay, but, I can but, tell you it from where you are, it's probably 45 to the front, and then I can't pick up the back. Right. Yeah. You got another 12 carry. paces or so. Yeah, probably. And that, I mean, that's pretty much about it, really. I mean, so there's, there's not 45 much. 45 cover, 57 back edge. Yeah. So I mean, this is going to come out spinning, right? Into I breeze mean, a little bit. Yeah, I mean, you would hope so. Okay. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, I mean, I'd probably obviously just want to take more club on this. You're gonna try to pick it somewhat clean, but like, you know, you can't get too cute with it because as soon as you, as soon as you really pick it clean, then you're. So what have you got? What club you got? I got 56. I would probably, I mean, I'd probably use a 50, honestly. But really? Yeah, we're gonna make it work. And I mean, still I think, pick it clean I think, with a 50. I think no, 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 not then pick you it take, clean. Okay, but yeah. like, yeah, I mean, you definitely. I mean, I'm not gonna pick it clean with this either. I'm gonna I mean, try the slope to. Slope being slightly up is helping you a little bit. Uh, it's. I feel like it honestly. It is helping to get it up in the air, but it's at the same time, it makes it harder to hit it farther. Yeah. Yeah, but it's easier to catch it clean. True. You can look at it whatever way you want to look at it, but like you said, we wouldn't be in this situation. But since that we are, we'll see how it goes. Ooh, that was Pretty close. Good. Go. Oh. That was close. But he's still in the bunker. <laughs> that, that is not a lob wedge for sure, a 56. What no, do you got? I got a pitching wedge. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say, I think I I think with 50, if my ball would be a, perfect. Show up the rook a little bit. I would aim right and just hit it over here in the middle of the green and take my two putt for yeah. whatever I was <laughs> putting for. Yeah. yeah. Right. I would, honestly, I'd never try to hit it at that flag. I would just hit it over in the in the middle of the green. Just because you're in a bad situation, 
you don't want to get into another bad situation. But for this, for this exercise, for, for this we're, situation, we're doing. I'm yeah. going to try to hit a good one. But yeah, I got a pitching wedge just so I can get a little more distance. And still didn't get it there. Here, here. Yeah. That, that plug? No. Okay. It didn't, but is this is this your fifty? Okay, so fifty two. Yeah, let me let me it's try. It's still this. all to play for, boys. All right. I'll, I'll use Dustin's club this time. The two three inches longer than mine. Oh, that was pretty good. Yeah, it's just it's just the wind's getting it. It was the right distance, though. It stays on that, yeah. Okay, we got a marker. You got a marker. Yeah, I mean, I, you ha you're making me hit a shot for sure. That was the right distance. I just didn't play the wind. Yeah, you ain't. I was amazed at how much you cut across that for the side. I mean, the wind as well. Yeah. Yeah, but it had so much left to right oh, spin and it's spinning. That's what happens when you're Masters champion, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Oh, that was nice Wolfie. too. He hit it close. Wolfie. Oh. Well done, buddy. Maybe I you should I... just get some longer wedges. <laughs> <laughs> Great job. You know, maybe I should leave myself in this situation. <laughs> you just like, yeah, keep on doing that. Yeah. <laughs> maybe you should just use his wedges. Yeah, maybe that's maybe. what it is. <laughs> Great job. Well done, boys. That new awesome. high toe. Yeah. Next time on Rough Situations. We're pretty much just looking to get this next one on grass somewhere but they did give me a little gap if I keep it just under this branch, just around to the right of that one up there on the left, and then it's gonna have to kind of rise and hook back to the back left. I'm seeing your picture. So yeah, we've painted the picture. I think I am gonna go with nine iron. We've got okay, what, boss. 145? Yeah, Probably 145 to the back, 114 to the front. Just enough air in. Show me some magic Should here. Should help with a little bit of the draw. 